What's up guys? It's Otameina and first of all, I just want to apologize for the wait. Uh, my schedule has been kind of weird these days with, uh, with a whole bunch of school stuff this, uh, this month. I had to do, um, or I, I still am doing an internship for this entire summer for a summer class of mine and I also had to do um, it, like an interviewing class that was like for five weeks and that finished like about two weeks ago and I was also trying to get some stuff done for uh, for like my admissions for the four-year college that I'm going into even though I'm probably gonna have like two more years left but <laughs> but um but yeah, the whole thing with that is just, you know, I was just a little bit busy. And also, I was kind of being a little lazy because I did have time. So, yeah, that's my excuse. Even though I feel like there should be no excuses. No excuses. <laughs> no excuses for not putting up a video. I did want to talk about, like, my experience about the orientation that I went to for, uh, for the school that I'm going to, which is uh, VCU, if you guys haven't heard of, uh, heard of it, it's uh, in Richmond, and um, and yeah, and I'm really excited to go to that school. It's been my dream school since I've I've ever been to that campus for the first time. Go Rams! Woo! Um, <laughs> but uh, what really I want to talk about with you guys is college in general, um, really more just the, the whole process and, and for me anyway, like my experience with college and um, I know with everybody it's different but I, I kind of just want to like talk about my experience a little bit and, uh, and maybe some tips and advice possibly for, for anybody else out there that, that just recently graduated or that's starting to go into college. So the first thing is uh, I first I went to um, a community college that uh, that's nearby and at first I did go in for nursing which didn't work out for me because uh, at first I wanted to like help people and uh, be able to like make a difference in the world somehow and I thought that being a nurse was gonna somehow do that for me and I took classes in my high school or whatever for like the technical center and uh, to like learn everything and I absolutely loved it so I thought the nursing was gonna be like my whole career I thought that that was gonna be the thing that I was gonna be doing for the rest of my life and um, a couple years later, like after I graduated, two years later, um, I was almost done with taking all my prereqs. Uh, I was, I, I had no other classes. I went and applied for the nursing program. Um, I didn't get in, but uh, I started feeling like this. Well, not discouraged, but like it was starting to to sit in. And I started to realize that like nursing wasn't for me and uh, which sucked because I didn't know what else was out there but I did do some research and um, and I wanted to see like what type of uh, majors or fields that would go on and help people like in general and improve their lives rather than actually taking care of them so I ended up seeing social work and I started seeing like, oh my gosh, this is for me. Like, I wanted to, to impact people. If people need help, like, I can go and try and help them as best as I can to like, uh, to, to get them in a better place in their lives or something, which was always something that I wanted to do, but I didn't realize it until then. Um, but I started having like that little epiphany realization type of thing and just like the main reasons that I kind of quit nursing was because it was really competitive like literally everybody and their mother 
was applying for nursing. And most of the time it's because they want to get the money, because you get paid well for that. So that's mostly why most people do stuff like that and go into medicine. And then there were also some people like me that were just very compassionate and just wanted to help people. But I started realizing like I didn't put in the effort, I didn't put in as much work and into studying like I probably should have. Like especially with anatomy, I hated anatomy. That that stuff is the worst for me. Like I like science, but just trying to memorize so much information and actually like putting the time to have to like study weeks on end to try and get an A or something just wasn't for me. And like don't get me wrong, like I study now like for social work, but not as much as I probably had to do so for nursing. Because social work, it everything just like for me it just clicked. So I it, it didn't really need to study as much as I needed to. Um but then on top of that, like my my grades, they were okay, but they definitely could have been better, probably due to the fact that I was not studying as well as I needed to, but it was really more like the anatomy stuff, which that was the worst. That was kind of the reason why I quit nursing, um, but I was just really glad that I found social work because that's definitely something that I wanted to do. Just like my advice though, like if anybody wants to do nursing, you have to be on top of everything. You have to read, you have to study and put all your time and dedication into uh, nursing and you know, studying that anatomy and all those terms. Well, anatomy is not hard, it's the physiology part. Because anatomy, you, you learn the bones, you learn your, the, the intestines, the organs, all that stuff. But then there's more to it, so that's that's a thing. Um, another thing about college is that you really have to be organized with everything, especially like when the semester, like each semester, is about to start. Like you have to make sure you apply for classes, and you have to make sure that. You, you have everything paid for or else you know you get dropped and um, you, you gotta be just on top of everything because if not uh, some advisors will probably step all over you and try to advise you to do something that you don't want to do uh, they'll probably have you end up paying more money than you should like making you retake classes um, that you really did never needed to to retake in the first place, and also they they are they can probably just like go on and try telling you to do uh, or like maybe minor in in something or probably look into another field because uh, because they they think that. Uh, that that'll be like good for you but you're not into it at all like all of these things happen to me guys like believe me it's stupid I when I was in nursing I had went uh, to talk to an advisor not like the advisor that was like part of the nursing and that was like in charge of me but just like a general advisor and he went and told me because I had a couple of C's he was like Okay, your grades are okay, but you need to retake all of these classes that you have C's in, um, and because you'll most likely not get into the nursing program, and if not, if that doesn't work out, then you're probably going to have to look for another college, and all those other colleges are not good. How do you think that's going to make somebody feel when you're... Like, especially at that point in, in, in my life, like, I was kind of at a low point. So, I felt discouraged. I felt heartbroken. I felt absolutely terrible that this advisor was telling me to that I'm not going to get into anything. I'm not worth doing. 
I'm not worth being in the nursing program and I'm not even worth being in my school. Like, how does that, how, how do you think that's okay for you to tell somebody that? Like, all he could have just been like, was say, your grades could be better, just try again and you'll be fine. Simple as that. Mind you, I went to the person that was in charge of me and they were like, oh, well, if you got a C or better since you passed, you don't need to retake these classes again. And I don't know what this other advisor was telling you. So how, how do you think that makes somebody feel when they try to talk down on you and try to discourage you on something that you believe was your dream? You know, like you got to be really careful about that because sometimes they do it just so that you can pay more or stay there longer or something, you know? You got to be really careful. And then on top of that, um, when I went to go to VCU to take a test because of like Spanish, so I don't have to, you know, pay more money just to take a, a Spanish class or an extra language or something. Um, I went to somebody that was in charge of like the World Studies program or something and I told her, I was like, you know, I took this test and I wanted to talk about this waiver. She goes, well, uh, because there's like four tiers and um, the fourth one was like, you can do like a, I think it was like a language work study thing. And then another one, uh, the third one was just like the highest uh, Spanish class that you could possibly take or something. And I told her that um, I speak Spanish and that I'm fluent in Spanish. And then she goes up to me and she was like, oh, well, if you're fluent in Spanish, uh, why didn't you get into the fourth tier? I I'm trying to make it like, call them tiers because it I, I feel like that makes it sound like it makes sense. If it makes sense, hopefully. But yeah, she was like, why didn't you make it to the fourth tier? And I told her, I was like, well, I, I don't know, like, it just happened. Like, I was a couple points away from getting into that fourth tier, but I didn't. But then she was like, you're, you're not fluent in Spanish. You're probably just no Spanish from, uh, from heritage or whatever. And I was like, basically, yeah. So, <laughs> but... But then she ended up being like, well, you know, like she was just like giving me weird faces and I was just like, all right, just like nodding my head, just like being like, okay, whatever. Try not to snap at her because that's not my thing. But I was really like mad when she said something, when she said that to me. But then she went on ahead and she was just like, oh, well, you should minor in Spanish because social work has a lot of Spanish-speaking people and uh, you want to make sure that you have, uh, you can speak Spanish and have good Spanish skills and make sure that, you know, when you talk to somebody, you're not stuttering, which I stutter like in English. I stutter when I speak in English and I stutter pretty significantly in, significantly in Spanish. So either way, it's not gonna matter. But like, I can still hold a conversation in Spanish. So I'm just like nodding my head and I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'm not gonna minor in Spanish because why do I need to? Like, I don't wanna do that. Like if I were to minor in something, it'd probably be international studies or something because I'm into the whole uh, like different culture and stuff like that. But minoring in just speaking Spanish is Kind of pointless, honestly. And she was trying to talk me into doing that, and I didn't appreciate it because I was like, I'm not gonna pay extra money just to take a whole bunch of extra Spanish classes. Because she was telling me she was like, you can take a whole bunch of Spanish classes, and you can do a whole bunch of things with these these Spanish classes. And she was telling me how I needed to take like eight more Spanish classes if I minor did it. And I was like, well, I don't want to do that. That's extra money out of my pocket that I don't need to to be taking out of. And, like, that's not something that I'm into. So, why do I need to take this? Like, I'm taking social work. Like, Spanish is nothing to do. I mean, yeah, Spanish has something to do with it, sure, but 
it's not like I need to specialize or something in it. You know what I'm saying? Like it. Hopefully you guys know what I'm saying anyway. But um, it just I, it got me really frustrated because like she was trying to talk me into doing something that I didn't want to do. So guys, just like word of advice, you guys are going into to college. Whoever just graduated, like just be on top of it. I I assure you that things like this will come up to you. But another thing that I did want to talk about is college isn't necessarily for everyone. And I understand that. I mean, and I was always, uh, I grew up in, in a family that, that always emphasized on education and was like, look, your education, that is your way out. And if you want to be successful, you need to go to college. And I love the concept of learning and I love to learn, so I have no issue with that. However, there's some people out there that aren't into studying or they're just into multiple things that they just don't want to specialize in one thing, which makes sense, you know? like. You don't want to have to be stuck with doing one thing for the rest of your life because that's a lot of commitment and you spent a lot of time learning uh, learning how to how to work in this field through college and you, you spend a lot of money and time trying to, to learn these things um, and sometimes people can't afford it sometimes people are just like you know what I just want to work and I don't care what kind of job I get and that's that's perfectly fine if you're one of those people that's that's perfectly fine you know it, there's no issue with that um, but I really do want to kind of complain about our system here because if you want to get a good job you have to have some sort of degree and it really sucks, honestly, because there's people out there that don't want to have a, a higher education in college. And they want to have a good job, but they can't because of the fact that they, they got to go to college in order to get this good paying job. Like, you know, I've, I've had some friends, I know um, family that have always been like, you know, I want to get a, a higher degree and I want to be able to get a good job, but I really just don't want to go to school because school's just not for me. And I feel for them because there are times where I'm just like, screw school. So I can just imagine people out there that are constantly just like that all the time. And it's unfortunate that's how our system works. And I really hate how it works. Cause like I feel like your hard work should should reflect on the type of job that you get because some people aren't even book smart but there are I'm sure like they're hard workers out there for sure like I know I have a lot of family that that's like that like they don't like school but they just learn hands-on, you know? And it's a really difficult position for people like like that. And I, I, it frustrates me because I love to see people succeed in life and some people can't because of that, you know? Um, I just wish like there, there's people out there that that if they if they could get some sort of education, at least get your associates if you can. I mean, if not, that's totally fine. But you know, if school's not for you, I wish you the best of luck on trying to find a really great paying job, and I wish you the 
the best of luck for success for sure because it's gonna be really hard and I know that I'm completely aware that you know you don't get a guaranteed job after getting a bachelor's or even a master's and maybe even a doctorate I don't know but I just think that you know at least having a degree there helps you get your foot in the door a little bit easier you know so uh, so yeah that's that's my my little spiel my little uh, thoughts on that you know college isn't for everybody and uh, I mean but if you if you want to go to college go for it but just be careful you know just be be well aware don't don't just run inside and just do whatever. Like you, you just be conscious about about what's going on. Um, but yeah, whoever uh, whoever just graduated or whoever's about to go into college, I hope that this video is extremely helpful. Hope that this this video somehow impacted you. I really hope that that everybody that's watching this has the best of luck in life and in school or whatever you're doing, you know, just good luck. Hopefully, if you liked this video, you can give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content like this, you can go ahead and subscribe. And if you'd like to share, please do so, that'd be great. And as always, I'll see you in the next